Good afternoon. Here we are again. This is our last uh, of the series of taking responsibilities of uh, our, our well-being through the principles of core alignment. And we're moving on into our missions. And by now, we should have our mission all planned out. Okay, Lynn, let's have another exciting <laughs> afternoon. We should have it all figured out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well... Yes, this is our last conversation in this uh, business building module where we've been looking at a lot of different things as we move more into the missions and the vision that we see for ourselves. So the question for today is, what is the best time of day for you? Uh, for me, I'm Lynn, I'm in Calgary, Alberta, and the best time of day for me is well, I am I am big on early morning. I um I love the quiet and the non-stimulation of what's happening, you know, before the sun rises. And um I find myself being very productive just for me. <laughs> so I either exercising or meditating or just sitting doing nothing. Um, but it is a time that I I I really like. How about you, Lorraine? Well, I'm Lorraine, and I'm in British Columbia, in the East Kootenays. Um, the best time of day for me is morning as as well. I I love getting. I that's the I'm more productive, and I get inspired. And of course, some of my inspirations, as I mentioned before, comes about five o'clock in the morning. I think this is a I got to do this this, and just just clarifying the little things I could be doing. So I, early morning too, I don't really get up that early, but uh, it's, I'm inspired in that more at that time. By three o'clock, I have to have my cat nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Madeline? I'm Madeline, I'm in Calgary, Alberta. And I would say um, not early morning, but morning definitely for me and uh, just a, a a nice way to kind of collect myself and collect my thoughts and um, and warm into the day, as it were, and you know, appreciating the fact that I can do that. Like that's that's the biggest portion of it. Like I'm I I can do that and I enjoy it. Don Marie. Hello, I'm Don Marie, and I'm from Sacramento, California, and I am on the road. <laughs> um, Are you driving? The, You're not no, no, I pulled right. over. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just coming back from acupuncture. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, the best time of day for me is probably around one o'clock, maybe yeah, about one o'clock. I am generally done with my workout. I've gotten up and done my meditation. So from one o'clock on, I can just concentrate and do what I want to do. So I'd say early afternoon. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. So many good times of day. Mm -hmm. So so what we're going to be doing to today as we wrap up this is we're going to be looking at this concept of standing in our own light or standing in the light. So if we go back to the very first conversation, I'm not sure if you remember, but we were looking at, um, you know, how we're showing up in our own light through looking at movies, the movie of our own life. <laughs> and so what we're going to be doing today is supporting you in declaring to the world who you really are, your message, your vision, your mission, and what you are doing as you stand in your own light. So what role are you playing now in your life? Remember that conversation where we looked at the roles that we feel like we're playing. So Right now, the role that I feel like I'm playing in my life right now, well, I, I really feel like I'm kind of um, the producer and the actor all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really showing up in my life right now, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So how about you, Madeline? Um, 
how do I feel I am showing up in my life? I think the, the role, role yeah, I think yeah. the role that I am most, uh, I would say still like supportive, supporting others, being being there for others, but not not nearly as actively, I think is is so maybe a dual role, maybe maybe a little bit of producer and uh, supporter having having something to say about how I want things to go rather than just being there for everybody else. So I think a dual role has developed for me. Cool. How are you, Marie? Well, for me, I think it would be I'm director. I'm taking charge of my life and doing things the way that I would want to do them and not having to question or ask anybody, what do you think? Should I? Could I? Um, taking that lead role and making things happen for me. Cool. Cool. How about you, Lorraine? Hmm. Yeah, uh, I see myself at my stage. I I like to think I'd be a, a mentor. Somebody that's lived, had a lot of experience, you know, and like an elder of the tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that's seen, well, you've been there, done that. Uh, and yet, on the same token, I'm still learning to do a lot of other things that are outside my comfort zone, you know, managing the internet and all that stuff. So, but mm -hmm. I, it's, I, I see myself more of a mentor and, uh, it's, but still learning how to do things in this modern day and age. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Awesome. So. Just take a moment and tune into where you are now and consider where you might see yourself in the next three months. So when I consider where I might be in the next three months, that kind of puts us into summer. <laughs> and um, I kind of see myself enjoying more of what I'm what I'm doing, what I'm already doing. And I actually see a, lo a lot of movement with um, the people in my life that are around me. How about you, Don Marie? Where do you see yourself? What do you see as you consider yourself in the next three months? Sitting on the deck of a cruise liner. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> With a with a cocktail, with my feet propped up, with a nice book, and just chilling. Nice. <laughs> How about you, Lorraine? Well, I see myself in three months, as you say, it's it's be summertime. But I'm going to be able to get outside more, and I'm going to have little. They're going to put some little pots of flowers so I can water my plants <laughs> i'm looking forward to that there's there's going to be a lot of activity where, where i'm living with my my nephew and his wife coming out to fix up the property they were out today putting bat houses up on the trees and doing things around the yard so i'm just going to be enjoying the activity of the farm and uh, the area and maybe have to do some gardening mm, cool very cool <laughs> how about you madeline um, definitely getting outdoors more and, and enjoying it rather than bundling up and doing it, going out, but, you know, fighting the bitter wind at this very moment in time. Um, so enjoying the being outside more because the mm. climate could be better. Um, mm. and, and that, that ease of movement that it comes with the warmer weather. I think that's the biggest biggest factor right like everything right. feels better and smoother and more uh pliable when when it's warmer so that's the focus for me cool yeah so what what do you see yourself doing more of um i kind of see myself doing more of Chilling, I think, like Don Marie said, like just chilling out. <laughs> I don't know what it'll look like, but 
I kind of see more sunlight and uh, just being in the flow. How about you, Madeline? Um, I see myself um, a little more focused on what I'm reading and what I'm uh, absorbing uh, and and uh, and working toward being getting more manuscripts happening and more more uh, work promoted so that I'm a less maybe entertainment reading and more with purpose reading and uh, and and being able to give good feedback with any of that so uh, so and being outside and being able to do it outside too which is always a very fun thing right like take your yeah. take awesome. your focus with you <laughs> how about you Don Marie well what I see myself doing is taking on more of a leadership role uh, my Toastmasters club has finally found a home where we can meet in person. And so I'm so excited that we now have a permanent location to have our weekly meetings. However, some of our lead members who have been around since I've been around have decided to uh, take a hiatus. And so that leaves me holding the bag with making sure that the leadership part of the club continues to soar. I'm the VP of membership. So my role is to, you know, build up the membership so that we can continue to have a, a great club with great meetings and have fun. So taking on that leadership role is what I am going to be doing in the next few months. Lorraine? What, what I see myself doing more of um, is maybe walking more independently with my walking sticks. <laughs> and I'm also seeing myself getting to know more people that in this area because I've only been here less than a year. Uh, there's, there is a, just get to know our neighbors a little bit more and, and be more, you know, out there. So hopefully summertime will prove that. So, and I can see, say hi to the people that jog by. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so who do you who do you see yourself who do you see supporting you as you do more of what you want to do? I know I I I see my family supporting me. I see my partner and husband supporting me and I actually see some of my colleagues supporting me in um in in what I want to do more of. How about you, Madeline? Who um, are you supporting you? I see um I see my partner, uh husband supporting me. He's he's kind of willing to let me just go and do whatever it is that I have a hankering to do, and that's really helpful, right? Like just not permission, <laughs> but just understanding that that's where I want to put my focus and um and also uh I've you know had the pleasure of getting involved with a company that is feeding me more work and so under their tutelage I can grow my my uh skills so there's I've got a lot of support mm -hmm. friends and family too yeah how about you, Don Marie? I see my best friend, um, Elizabeth. She's also in Toastmasters with me, but she's kind of been on, um, been like a silent partner through this whole process. And now she's been very instrumental in helping me find a physical location for our meeting. And she's telling me about all these wonderful ideas on membership building and the spot that we're in and getting the community involved. So I really see her as a key player in helping me to execute this plan of getting our club um, in a different, getting momentum going in our club. Cool. Lorraine? Uh, who I see who supporting, supporting me? You? Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully my family uh, mm -hmm. and, and my husband. And, but I think 
supporting me is I think I have to support myself more. Like I have to have that inner support that gee, you can do it. And uh, that motivation and being, you know, just, just being, give myself a push because it's very easy to sit back and let everything else happen around you or ask somebody else to help you. So I, I think it comes from within, within me. That I have to support myself. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. So where we're just going to kind of be taking, you know, being on a time machine here. So where do you see yourself in say, you know, a year's time or maybe a year and a half? Where do you see yourself? And I know what I see like in a, in a year, I see a lot more traveling for some reason. I feel like I want to try like for real, <laughs> not just in my head. <laughs> Go on a cruise with Don Marie. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Don Marie? Where do you see yourself in say a year? <laughs> well, I see myself in a year being, hmm. Well, number one, doing more networking, and um, I made a decision that I want to um, build a team with my business, and in order for me to do that, I've got to get out and network with more people, and so I'm connecting with various organizations and folks who are like-minded who want to build their businesses and connect with other networkers, so I see myself doing a lot of that within this next year. Cool. Madeline? Um, in the next year, I see myself connecting with my siblings more because, you know, we're all getting on there and I'm a baby of the family. And, uh, you know, if, if I don't make the effort, then it's, you know, I'm going to miss the opportunity. So I have had a pretty strong desire to go and connect with my other siblings, which of course are not, you know, down the street, they're in other parts of the Canada and someone in the States. So, you know, a little bit of a challenge to do that traveling, but it'll be, it'll be something to work toward. That's for sure. Mm, cool. Lorraine? I see myself in a year. I think pretty well what I'm doing at right at the moment, just, uh, you know, making sure my health is uh, well enough that I can look after myself and uh, do baking and, and uh, just get outside more and uh, be out in, in within the, the neighborhood. Um, but uh, I, I pretty well see myself being comfortable just where I am here. <laughs> <laughs> very good very good cool i've done my travel <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 so what we're going to do is we are going to um yeah the next question is who do you see yourself supporting as you are doing more of this so i see myself supporting my family i see myself supporting my clients yeah, I, I just see my, you know, the people that are important to me in my life being supported by what I'm doing. What about you, mm -hmm. Lorraine? Mm -hmm. I, I see myself as uh, supporting others and, and, and giving the mess, a positive message out there rather than the, the negatives that a lot of people seem to be incurred with doing at the moment but i think of just the people that i associate with uh, online uh, on zooms uh, by telephone and uh, just just the people that are in my life that i feel comfortable with cool madeline i am um sorry i am Definitely supporting my family. Um, I think first and foremost, um, the you know desire to to keep that connection happening is really strong. Um, the interesting part about being involved with um, this company that I have started working with is that they 
they encourage authors. And so that, that desire to encourage authors, like people have such a strong desire to put things in print. And a lot of times they don't know how to go about making a book. I know Lorraine, you managed to figure that out and I admire you for having done that. And oh, I think boy. there's more and more and more need for people to feel like they have the opportunity to do that and it doesn't have to cost them an arm and a leg, which is, you know, kind of if you go through a typical publisher's uh, place. Anyway, the idea of supporting people to do what they want to do and to have them not, you know, make them broke over it, I think is a very uh, worthwhile support. And uh, and so we're heading in that direction. If you want any advice, I can give it to yeah. you. <laughs> I will ask you absolutely, Lorraine. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> well, who do I see supporting me? It's going to be the members of my club. Um, there's a few people who came in late, but they're still around and they still see the benefit of our club progressing on. So I'm going to really call on them to help support us in um, doing this membership building and making sure that everyone feels supported and connected to be able to invite others to come to our club and making sure that we have resources uh, material for them to be able to go out and distribute it to invite people to come in. So I see some of the members of my Toastmasters Club supporting me or me supporting them. Cool. <laughs> cool. All right. So as we do all these things, as you do all these things, who are you? And what is the first thing that pops into your head when you ask that, when you consider all the things that you're doing who are you in that and the first thing that pops in to my head is well I get the image of a conductor mm -hmm. of an orchestra <laughs> I feel like I'm the grand conductor <laughs> so so what's the first thing that pops into your head Madeline when you consider yourself doing these things who are you I first, had uh, yeah I had a uh a vision of like a little busy bee <laughs> buzzing around doing things doing nice. everywhere I want to find a cool flower to land on and be you know have it be uh to my benefit so don't know don't know busy cool. bee cool. busy bee. What about you, Lorraine <laughs> who who am I now after this conversation. Who are you as you do these things? What's the first thing that pops into your head? Well, I keep going back to mentor. <laughs> I, I, I really think that I reached a stage that, you know, be an elder because, you know, I should, I mean, they've been an example. Mm. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it. Maybe then nobody wants to be like me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to take that That's into consideration. <laughs> well, there's elders, there's being a mentor, being an example. It's so many things, right? Yeah. As we yeah. have, you know, you've lived a life of many, many things. And there's lots of, you know, I mean, our elders are very important, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about you, Don Marie? I see myself as a mentor, um, as I am taking on this new leadership role with the club. There's a couple of new members who've come in who really um, find the benefit of being a Toastmaster to help them on their jobs. And so I want to be able to provide them that, that role in helping them to get there, showing them what resources are available to them and guiding them to make sure that they're aware of everything that is available to them. So just, you know, being an example and being that mentor, what I see myself cool. doing. Cool. <laughs> so what do you notice now as you stand in your own light and declare who you are being? 
what I notice is um, just the sense of appreciation for the journey that we've been on. We've, it feels like we've been on a journey over the last three months and uh, it feels like, yeah, I, 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 I kind of have an appreciation. That's what I notice. How about you, Don Marie? What I notice is that uh, I do have the skills to to support and provide others to take on whatever it is that they want to do. I, I've been more of the type in my life to be in the background, to be in that supportive role. And I think that over these past three months, I've learned and realized that, you know, the skills that I have acquired through the years, they work. Mm -hmm. And they have worked. And so I really want to, you know, now step out into that realm of being that leader and, and just showing people that uh, I'm not just this quiet person that doesn't say much, but I do have some skill sets to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. um, that I think that my... Uh, that I honestly just want to just do things for me and not, and, and it not really affect me if someone disagrees or something. I think that there's that unconditional desire, that desire to be sort of unconditionally me is mm -hmm. prominent and, and that I can feel, I think self-assured was one of my words and that I could be more self-assured in that aspect of it, just being, I'll just be who I am and that's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Lorraine? Well, I think what we, I've taken, what I've learned in this past, you know, the session is, and how I feel about it. I think I feel very proud that I have accomplished something and participated in something. I've learned to be a, a little bit a better listener. I feel very satisfied. And like Matt, Madeline says, it's self-assured. It's given me a more confidence. Cool. Very cool. So what will you take with you from this conversation and this series uh, until we meet again? Madeline? What I will take with me uh, that will support me until we meet again um, the, uh, value in voicing thoughts, feelings, and emotions. There's a lot of value in that. Mm -hmm. Marie? What I will take away from this until we meet again is the fact of the matter is that you, you have not because you ask not. And this platform has provided me the ability to speak up and see some things about myself that I didn't know about myself and feeling safe that I could say what I needed to say and not be judged and know that in order to have what I want, I have to say it and I have to be that example. And this platform has allowed me to do that. Lorraine? <clears throat> what I'll take away from this conversation until we meet again is pretty well, as everybody has said, it's just, it's it's the safe space being listened to, be accepted, uh, not being judged, and uh, just, just make, feel, making you feel myself like mush. Everybody, okay, I'm just letting myself out there. It's almost like standing naked in a crowd or something. <laughs> standing in our own light. Really. Right. Yeah, it is. It's, um, it's, uh, I, I just take away this appreciation for the container that this work provides, the ease in which it flows, the contribution of everyone, the, just the contribution of us showing up as we are, who we are, asking for what we want, you know, sharing, you know, our visions, our missions, our messages, and contributing to each other in a miraculous way. <laughs> so what will you take with you that'll support you for the rest of your life, Lorraine? 
I think what I'll take away from for support me for the rest of my life, just the feeling of a the blessing of, of being part of it. It mm. just makes you feel good. Mm-hmm. Makes me feel good. Mm-hmm. Marie? What I would take away from this that will support me for the rest of my life is, um, you know, not not being afraid to uh, say yes, count me in. I want to be a part of that. Um, I've said this in the past that you just never know what's out there for you until you s- step out and partake in it. And it could really be a blessing. And this has really given me it's given me a lot of inspiration over these past few weeks that we've been together. And it's given me that courage to not be afraid to connect with other folks and uh, test the water. Mm -hmm. Madeline? What I will take with me that will support me for the rest of my life um, is uh, knowing I'll miss it when we're not getting together <laughs> I think that'll <laughs> you always know what what you want from what you don't want and I you know would be very uh I'll be very happy when we start this up again hopefully in in May you had said and um and that um there's there's a freedom in expressing how you feel mm-hmm. that you don't always get an op- opportunity to have so that's a good that's a really good thing I'll take away Lorraine um uh, you'd asked me about did I thinking. ask you yes me? yes okay. yes sorry <laughs> okay I'll go <laughs> you go. Oh, so much good stuff uh, go. well what I will take away that'll support me for the rest of my life is Well, this idea that, you know, we've been focusing on our vision, our mission and our message and that that is always being cultivated and that um, I'll take away the fact that that my message continually supports my visions and my mission, my vision and my mission. And it's, you know, to see see others having more happiness and flow in their lives and and uh, and to share some simple principles and practices that help to make it a little bit more easy mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i'm really grateful for this work i'm i'm grateful for you guys showing up and for my mom always encouraging <laughs> me <laughs> dragging me out and making my hole <laughs> yeah. so yeah um yeah so there will be more and um we'll enjoy the the spring as it things start to bloom here okay well thank you very much and uh we'll we'll let you know when we start again